In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing KiwiCo's Panda Crate. Specifically, this one is the Look With Me box, and it is for 18 to 24 months. And as usual with KiwiCo's Panda Crates, they do cover a large range. This one covers six months, which is still a very large range, especially for toddlers at this age. Um, but let's see what we have in here. Here we have the cards telling you what's included and how to play with them or suggested ways to play with them. And this little magazine right here, it just uh, introduces you to everything that this box teaches. And for this one, it's going to be visual motor skills and hand-eye coordination. It has articles in there for you to read as well. Okay. Right, on the back of here is another quick um, review of everything that's included inside this box. And these are the Beyond the Crate cards. They basically give you ways you can play with your child that's outside of this crate. And I want to say that most of the time, these Beyond the Crate cards, they're not very expensive to reproduce. They're usually fairly cheap items. Um, this one here in particular is called Bubble Burster. So buying a little pack of little bubble and blowing bubbles, it's fairly cheap. You can probably get it at the dollar store. Okay, let's see what we have. The first item here is the race ramp racer. Um, it looks like just a little wooden ramp. And it comes with a ball for you to roll down. Um, material is, it looks pretty sturdy from the pictures, but it actually seems to be pretty thin wood. Um, so definitely not for anyone to step on or anything. It might break the wood, but um, at least it's wood and not plastic. Okay, next we have the, this one is called the spin and, s spin and slide board. Okay, so um, looks like it's just has a little spin, so you can just spin here, and this thing for you to slide. Oh, okay, two different sides. Next we have the butterfly drop, kind of similar to those little dropping toys you see at the arcades. Um, you just drop the butterfly through here. Okay. Probably better than go here. Just drop the butterfly in here. I'll probably do a little bit more reading on this to see how it's actually played with. Okay, next here we have a book. This one's called Puppy's Duck Chase. My son should really like this book a lot as he's really into ducks and that's one of his favorite words is duck. Um, hopefully he enjoys this book. All right, and let's take a look at the last item. This is, huh, okay. So these are called wood rainbows. Kind of remind me of Grimm's rainbows. Um, very similar concept of stacking them. Um, and just, I'll do more reading to see what it's about. And that seems to be everything that's included inside this box. I'm gonna go ahead and do my review on them as well as go on Amazon and try to find alternatives to see if this box is worth the $40 that we pay for it. I've had a chance to do some research on Amazon to find alternatives as well as observe my son's interaction with the toys. Let me tell you right now though, the toys in this crate are fairly unique as in they're tough to find good alternatives for, at least on Amazon. Let's start with the Ramp Racer. It's a very simple toy, but it does have some fairly good teaching points. When your little one watches the ball roll down, they're learning about physics. They're discovering what makes something move, observing how it travels, and figuring out why it stops. While my son did enjoy watching the ball roll down the ramp, he likes using the ramp more for his toy cars. I'm not sure how many different search terms and pages on Amazon I scrolled through, but I couldn't find anything quite as simple as a ramp with a ball. At least nothing for toddlers and reasonably priced. I found this VTEC ramp that's fairly close, but not only is it plastic, the toy car is electronic. I'm not a huge fan of introducing electronics to my son, so I'd rather go with something like this wooden ramp racer for $19.99 as an alternative. The next item, the wood rainbow, allows your child to have open-ended play. There's quite a bit you can actually do with these for making different visuals, using them like a puzzle, or even playing bowling. My son didn't really show too much interest in the wood rainbow as we already own the Grimm's rainbow, which has a very similar concept of nesting different colors of the rainbow. 
However, if your child hasn't already been introduced to the Grimm's Rainbow, I think this is an excellent toy. The brand Grimm's Rainbow is a bit expensive, so I found something else that's a bit more budget friendly that's $14.99. The spin and slide board is a colorful busy board. The idea behind it is for the board to help strengthen your child's ability to focus and search. The board has two different sides with essentially the same thing on both sides but with different colors and themes to keep your child's attention. I had no idea that busy boards were a bit pricey until I tried finding an alternative for this. Most of the ones I did find though were a bit more complicated than the KiwiCo one. A decently priced one I found was this one for $18.99. I actually like this one better. I feel that the KiwiCo one might be too simple. I find that my son doesn't really gravitate towards this board too much. Maybe this board would have been better for a younger child. The butterfly drop is basically turning Plinko into a toy. The idea of this toy is to help your little one learn to track patterns as the butterfly drops down bouncing from side to side. My son is pretty intrigued by this toy and loves playing with it. When I tried to find an alternative for this, all the Plinko-like toys I could find were either way too big and expensive or the coins were too small for me to feel comfortable giving it to a toddler. So as an alternative for the butterfly drop, I picked this zigzag tower by Melissa and Doug for $19.99. It has a similar idea of keeping track of the items as it's dropped down the zigzag pattern. The last item in the Look With Me box is the book Poppy's Duck Chase. The theme of this book is Poppy chasing a little duckling around trees over and under different things. I couldn't find anything quite like it, but the book Are You My Mother does come close. It doesn't quite cover the same vocabulary. It's about a little bird interacting with many different places and things trying to find its mother. So it's kind of close to the panda book. It goes for $4.42. If you attempted to recreate this crate and purchase everything on Amazon, it costs a total of $78.38 which is almost two times the cost of the KiwiCo box. I would say that this box is well worth the cost. This doesn't even factor in the helpful magazine, the toy explanation cards, and the Beyond the Crate cards. Of course, the downside is that you don't get the luxury of picking specific boxes with KiwiCo, but I find that most of the boxes are worth it. One thing I wish KiwiCo would do is stick to a schedule so parents know exactly what they're getting. This way, you don't have to worry about getting duplicate toys if you're purchasing toys elsewhere. I have to say, I'm fairly impressed with the items included in the Look With Me crate. All the items are made of wood. Even if the ramp racer feels a bit weak, it's still way better than plastic. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about the Look With Me crate. Are you looking forward to receiving it? Consider subscribing to my channel for more KiwiCo related content as well as Montessori inspired content. And if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.